If you're new to dictating, it can seem a little overwhelming at first. So we've put together a few tips to show you just how easy it is. Some users find it helpful to write out an outline or bullet points to guide their dictation. It can be just a few simple talking points to help prompt you through your thoughts so you can stay on task. SpeakWrite allows you to customize your dictation any way you like. You can always add instructions to the typist at the beginning and they will follow whatever instructions you provide as long as they are within the scope of service. In order to get the best quality work back, we recommend trying to reduce background noise and avoid speaking too quickly or mumbling. The clearer you speak, the better results you will receive. If you need to pause to collect your thoughts, that's no problem. No one is listening to you while you're dictating, so you should not feel rushed. A tip to remember, you're basically leaving a voicemail to your friend. Hey Tom, sorry I can't make it tonight, but I hope that we can get together really soon. While you're dictating, spell out the names of people and places as needed. The first time they're mentioned in the dictation, the typist will follow the spelling throughout the rest of the document, so you don't need to spell it every time. You will likely get a different typist for each job, so make sure to provide spelling at the beginning of each job. If there are names or places that you use commonly, you can add them to your custom word list inside of your profile. You can provide simple formatting instructions as you dictate. For example, next paragraph, please. Put that in bold or new heading. The typist will craft your document to follow your specification. If you do not include these specific instructions, the typist will use their best judgment to include them as necessary. The typist will not transcribe O's or ums or words that are clearly not intended to be part of the dictation. If your dictation includes a direct quote, just indicate quote and end quote to capture the exact quotation. And lastly, you do not need to dictate any punctuation. Here's an example of a business memo and how you can use the examples above to assist your transcriptionist with your dictation. Please use today's date. Dear Mr. Zabalos, Z-E-B-A-L-L-O-S. It was a pleasure meeting you today. I'm glad we had a chance to get face to face and hash out some of the key milestones for the upcoming project. I spoke with my team and they agreed that our timelines are quote, very attainable, end quote. Skip a line and put a heading centered in bold and underlined titled next steps. Um, my assistant will follow up next week to lock in the timeline and schedule all the necessary upcoming meetings with your office. As we discussed, I will be out of town for the next week, but I'll be in touch when I am back in the office. Next paragraph. Sincerely, John Doe. See, that wasn't too bad. I used today's date, the spelling of a name, quote and end quote, phrases like skip a line, center the heading, and next paragraph. Now that you're essentially a dictating pro, join the SpeakWrite team and let's do the work for you. Click the link in the description to get started today.